Today we're going to be learning some chord shapes and um, hopefully this video series will help you with some of the basic shapes. Now keep in mind there are many ways to finger chords, you know, various types, many, many different ways. These are just going to show the basic ones and uh, you'll have uh, different angles on these to show you how they are fingered and also I will put up some chord diagrams as well. First thing you want to do, tuning your guitar. Now remember your strings are labeled low to high, E, A, D, G, B, E. E, A, D, G, B, E. Okay? And you can use a little acronym, every apple does good by eating, every anteater does good by eating. Uh, something like that just to help you remember them. Uh, e A D G B E. So a quick way to tune your guitar is um, just so they all sound right. They might not necessarily be right on, but uh, this one has been tuned with a tuner. And um, the uh, a quick way to tune it is to on the fifth fret, low E string, place your finger on there and ring it with the next string which is the A string so it should ring open then you can move it down one to the A string fingered at the fifth fret do the next two strings you can adjust it as necessary again move it down to your D string and that should ring with your B now on this one however you're going to go to your fourth G fret string on your uh, and ring that with your B, and then back to the fifth fret on your B string to the E. Okay, so now we should be in tune. The first chord is A. So your basic A chord is placed on your second fret with these three strings. D, G, B. All on the second fret. This one, this one, this one. Some people might bar them, but this is what it should sound like. A. Now that can be a little tricky one because it's, you know, you have three fingers and one fret there. That's your A. Then for an A7, you want to bar it, bar it down. Again, those three strings. If you get this one, it's all right too. And then you're just going to add your ring finger on the third fret, high E. A7. Next chord is your A minor. You're going to put your index finger on your B string first fret, your middle finger on your D string second fret, and your ring finger on your G string second fret. Should sound like this. Once again. Next chord is our B chord. And uh, with the B, you want to bar that one. You're going to hold all the strings except the low E. And you're going to come and, with your ring finger, bar the bottom four strings. So this one's basically just holding the top one. It should sound like this. That's your B. Once again, then for a B7, which can be a little tricky, you're going to place your index finger on the D string first fret, middle finger on your A string second fret, ring finger on your G string second fret, and your pinky on your high E string second fret. Sound like that. B7. 
seven. Then for your B minor, again you're going to hold these down and you're going to do a bar chord. So I'm barring the uh, bottom five strings with my index finger. My middle finger is on the third fret B string. My ring finger is on the D string fourth fret. And then my pinky is on the G string fourth fret. <laughs> Next chord is the C shape, very uh, popular chord and basically you're going to have your index finger on your B string, first fret, middle finger on your D string, second fret, and your ring finger on your A string, third fret, C. <laughs> Next chord is your D. So there I'm putting my ring finger on the B string, second fret, middle finger on the high E string, second fret, and then my ring finger on the B string, third fret. So again, index finger. D string, 2nd fret, middle finger on the e, high E string, 2nd fret, and then your ring finger on the B string, 3rd fret, D. E. Your E chord is fingered as such. Index finger on your G string 1st fret, middle finger on your A string 2nd fret, and then your ring finger on the D string 2nd fret, E. And if you want to play an E minor, you're just going to lift off that index finger. And there's your E minor. G. Another very popular chord. G, you're going to put your index finger, A string, 2nd fret, your middle finger on the low E string, 3rd fret, and your ring finger on the high E string, 3rd fret. G. You can, uh, again, Rewind these after the tuning part. If your guitar is already in tune, you can just fast forward and uh, get to the chord uh, diagrams and the instruction there. Thanks for watching.